Okay, hi everybody. I'm making this video to show you how to use your in-ear monitor mix. So, you're going to have your own mix where you can decide what you want to hear and what you don't want to hear. So this is Master Fader 5. It's the app we use to control all our sounds. So there's a few things I want to show you. So this is, a, this is the mixing board. And on this mixing board, we have a lot of information here. First, most important thing you see is down here at the bottom is all these channels. These channels go vertically. So, see down here we have Robert. This is going to be vocals. So Robert was last Sunday was here. Um, we had the pink wireless microphone, the orange wireless microphone, and then Jeff was here. And then you'll see this slider had Robert's guitar, Jeff's guitar, bass guitar, and so on. And you can slide left and right and see more channels. We got piano, Jeff's speak is what we label Jeff's um, wireless mic when he teaches. The PC usually has the Spotify going for music, drums, and then, we'll, then we got some effects which we'll talk about later. So like I said, each one of these, these things is a channel from top to bottom. So at the bottom we got names, um, then we have a volume control and that's going to control this one right here controls robert how loud in your ear you'll hear robert uh, maybe maybe you're pink maybe you're, you have the pink microphone that'll control how loud in your ear it is so you can decide who you want to hear who you don't want to hear my recommendation is to hear you well and hear the lead singer well and some sort of um instrument that sets sets the tone. So maybe bass guitar in your ear or the piano is another really good one in your ear. Um, electric guitar, maybe not so much unless you're an electric guitar player because electric guitar stops and starts depending on the song. The bass guitar can do the same thing. You might not come in at first. So if there's a song where you're just starting out with just acoustic guitar, and some vocals. You want to make sure that you can you can hear them so that you're going to be on key. A piano, if there's a, a piano there that you're usually playing, and then you want the drums in your ear. So the drums are going to give you tempo. And in the future, if we come up with the, we start using click tracks, that's going to be an automated one, two, three, four clicks so that you can stay on tempo, and that's going to be for everybody so that tempo doesn't change so the drummer can use it to make sure he doesn't get off tempo and everybody else so that, that's an important thing to note so let's go back here let's say you're the pink singer and you want to control your volume above above that you'll see the mute button so be very careful i wouldn't even touch the mute button because if you mute here it mutes everybody it mutes for the the main PA system, it mutes for our live stream, everything. So I would avoid touching that, let, let our sound engineer handle that. And then above that, you see a lot of, it might look confusing to you. So this is where our, our, our EQ is housed, our gate, which the gate is, um, it sets a threshold, so any, any volume below a certain threshold just gets shut off, like an kind of like an auto mute button. So if the volume gets too low, it just mutes it. Um, then down here is a compressor, compressor, and that will take the very high highs and very low lows and just compress them together, kind of squeeze them together to give us a more uniform um, audio output. So you don't want to touch those. This is another kind of a matrix it shows where your audio is going. Um, just for informational purposes, uh, you don't want to touch the source. The gains and trim, that controls how sensitive your microphone is. So if you turn it on and it's just getting feedback, you can hear everything in the room, it's because your gain is set too high. Um, let the audio engineer handle that because that moving, moving these things controls everything across the board. And you also can see on this screen where your audio is being sent to. It's being sent to monitor, would be that main monitor, the speakers on the ground in front of you. It's being sent to the lobby, 
um, aux3 is, was not used, our stream, and then all these other all, the, all these other other places it could be sent to. So those are some things that, to know about. And this, this, you know, left to right, up and down. If you go left to right, you're switching. If you look down here, who you're looking at, pink, orange, Jeff singing. So left to right, I'll do that. Up and down changes those windows you're seeing. But if you get to this screen and you don't know what to do, how do you get back to what you see? Up here at the top, you got these three buttons. That middle one is the one you want. That brings you back here. The left one shows you all the sliders, which is not super useful to you at all. And that single one brings you to just just um, you or whoever was last selected last. So if you get stuck, don't know where to go, any hit any button, wrong button, and you're like, how do I get back where I want to get? Hit those three buttons. That takes you back here. So if you also notice the slider on the right that doesn't move, that's your your overall. So everything individually gets focused into this slider. And this you can use this slider in your ear as like an overall volume. Everything overall is too loud. You can bring that down. Everything overall is too quiet. You can bring that back up. But I caution you using in-ears, be careful of your ears. Don't overpower your ears. You don't want to cause any hearing damage. So, you know, keep that at a reasonable level. Um, and that can, what can happen is you're like, oh, I need more drums. Oh, it doesn't sound right. I need more guitar. I need more bass. I need more, need more, need more, need more, need more. And pretty soon you can just be blowing your ears out. So you can always come over here and turn that down and just get it right. So overall, avoid these, avoid the mutes, and just focus on just the sliders. So what you want to hear more of, what you want to hear less of. The, the labels down here can be easily changed in colors. Let the audio engineer handle that because they're using those to mix for the main lobby in a live stream. So um, unless, unless you see like orange down here, let's say you're the orange singer and you just want your name up there instead of orange. Go ahead and hit that over here. It says default name. You can click that. Nope. Oh, name. Click that and you can type in your name. So, done with that. So, that's that's that. Um, over here, aux six on the right. That you can have multiple auxiliary sends. So let's say over here I got aux five. That one's for me. You can come down here and change the name and put your put your name in there so that you know that that's yours. That's your mix. Or maybe it's going to be multiple backup singers. You can go in there and you could say like backup singers or name it whatever you want. Doesn't the name doesn't matter? It doesn't change a single thing other than letting you know what it's for. So that could be that could be me. Aux six could be the bass player. It could be Chris. Chris could have his own. It could be the drummer. We have four of them. Five six aux five six seven eight. You could have four separate in-ear mixes going on. Actually, we could, yeah, yeah, about four. So these are the four. So to get there, hit aux six or whichever one you're on. Dan, hit that. Six, hit that. So if you look over here, if you come up here and it says mains, watch out because you're controlling the main speakers that everybody in the congregation hears. So when you look at the board, look at that first. That's that's going to be the thing that you're controlling. So right now these sliders are controlling the main board. Come over here. The one labeled monitors for that those floor speakers. So if you don't want to control the floor speakers, the lobby, you might not want to be controlling the lobby. You want to hear what well, you have. Live stream. So all these sliders are in different positions because what sounds good on the live stream doesn't necessarily sound good in the lobby and doesn't sound good for the PA. So all these have separate mixes. So you want to get your own in-ear mix and you can have that. So when you get there, that's the, that's what you're controlling. So make sure you're on the right group. 
auxiliary aid. You can come down here, name it what you want, enter name, and so whatever. So Jeff has it can have his own, or you can say bass guitar has his own. You know, whatever you want, it doesn't matter. And then also right here you see it says all auto sun BCD. If you click that, those are different um, like saves. So uh, go back. I'm lost. We can always hit that button. But if you say all, there's 32 different channels plus effects plus groups. So there's a lot here that you don't need. So on Sunday, on Tuesday, we're going to set a group called Sunday, and it's only going to have what we're actually using. So we actually had on our last Sunday, Robert, Pink, it was Orange, and Jeff. So we had four vocalists singing. We had these instruments, Jeff speaking, the PC for Spotify, the drums. So that is, that is, you know, what you want to see. And last thing I want to talk about on the right here, we have some effects. So I made a backup vocals effects. And that one has up here, you can see it says ambience reverb. So a little bit of reverb. A little bit of reverb, you can just control that by adding some reverb to the backup vocalists. And giving a little reverb in your ear to your vocals gives you more confidence. You don't have to have much. If you give it too much, it's going to sound very echoey, like you're in a big, big, like, big hall. Don't want that. Just maybe a little, little bit in your ear gives you more confidence. It's a big confidence booster. The, this one over here called Chorus, it says backup guitar. That's a little guitar effects. If you want to hear that in your ear, not necessary. And then drum reverbs. Um, put a little reverb on the drums. It gives the drums a bigger feel, like drums are in a bigger room. It kind of just helps with the feel. But you don't need that if you don't want it. You don't need chorus if you don't want it. You don't need reverb in your ear if you don't want it. I recommend it for singers, but don't need it. And the sub one, um, go ahead and ignore that. You can leave it down. You can put it wherever you want. It's not going to do much for you. Um, so you can ignore that one. But um, yeah, so master volume in your ear for everything. And then your individual channels left to right. So that's that. If you have any questions, need help setting it up, things just aren't sounding right, talk to the sound engineer. They are more than happy to help you. If you get lost and don't know where, where you're at, talk to the studio engineer. He will help you. We want you to be successful and have a good time and, and really focus on worshiping the Lord and leading the congregation in worship and not focused on not being able to hear yourself or just think things sound terrible in your ears and you just can't worship. We don't want that. We want to come alongside you and help you worship and help lead the congregation in worship. So thank you.